Welcome to the Pharma Voice Editor's Take Video Series, filmed live at the 2011 DIA Annual Meeting in Chicago. Hosted by Taryn Grome, Editor of Pharma Voice. In this session, Taryn meets with James Rogers, CEO of Next Trials. Jim, it's great to see you again. In the last 12 months, we've noticed increasing interest by the pharma industry in the integration of electronic data capture platforms, such as Next Trials Prism, with platforms used for electronic health records. Where is this trend heading? Yeah, we've seen a definite increase in interest, both from pharmaceutical companies and from research sites that are looking for ways to provide clinical trial data more efficiently to sponsor companies. And a lot of this is because the FDA has come on board with not only saying it's okay to do this, but they're enthusiastically endorsing the use of EHR. I was at a, a town hall forum yesterday, six FDA panelists all enthusiastically endorsed using EHR for patient recruitment, clinical trial data collection, for drug safety reporting, and eliminated a lot of the concerns that people have about how will the FDA accept EHR data for clinical trials. So where we're seeing uh, the future of this, we've already got the technology built to collect the data. What we're, the next generation is going to be building flags and alerts and project management tools on top of this to help the clinical sites manage the clinical trial from within the EHR. In addition to its EDC EHR integration functionality, you recently added design tools to the PRISM platform. Why is this important and what are the benefits? I'm very excited about our new design tool. It's built on top of Formetic's uh, origin design tool and it has a lot of benefits that boil down to reducing the time and effort to build a clinical trial database, a very time-intensive, rate-limiting step to launch in the clinical trial. And it does it through a drag-and-drop interface. So instead of spending two, three weeks or more specking out the database, you actually build it with a minimal amount of study specifications and then the study specification, the formal one, is driven from the process that you've built, including annotated CRFs. We built a 20-page uh, CRF study, including edit checks, in less than eight hours. Typically, that would have taken weeks. So we're seeing the efficiency in-house when we use the tool, and our clients, the CROs and the pharma companies, are seeing it when they build studies. Additional editors take videos, as well as podcasts, white papers, webinars, and more are available in the resources area at www.pharmavoice.com.